right guys, thanks for watching through all of that. That was about oh, an entire afternoon's worth of uh, trying to fabricate in this tiny little workshop. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, my welds aren't fantastic by any means, but it gets the job done. I was able to clean it up enough to uh, look all right. So, um, yeah. Uh, where to start? <laughs> um, so I did have to cut the body a bit more to clear the uh, transmission and in the back to clear the drive shaft. I still clean those up a little bit. I just, I'm tired. I need a break. Um, this fuel tank, not sure if you caught that part. A uh, viewer sent me this after I put the uh, Nightcrawler's 3D, 3D printed one on. Nathan Myers got in touch with me. He makes these uh, hand-spun aluminum tanks, and I also have a, uh, he made me a little wiper fluid tank, so I'm not ready to put that one on yet. I'm not sure yet if it's going to go on this rig or not, but uh, big thanks to Nathan for that. It fits perfect, and I just had to fabricate a new mount because the, uh, the way the other one mounted wouldn't work, and I didn't want to drill into this. It already had a, a tapped hole in the bottom, and... Uh, yeah, just welded a piece of steel onto my upper shock mountain for the rear, and boom, drill the hole, mount it up. So uh, you can check him out at Notorious RC Speed Shop and the RC Basement on Facebook if you're interested. He doesn't do a whole lot of these. Uh, he does a lot of uh, like tractor pull stuff, scale tanks and stuff for the front of those, so they're heavy and weighted. But um, he might could do some. I don't know. <laughs> but again, thanks Nathan for uh, for that awesome tank. And uh, it really does pop. Makes this look a lot better than the, the little spray painted chrome one did. That finish didn't come out fantastic. So <laughs> can't beat the real thing. Um, let's see. Let me get you an overhead. Beam. All right. So I uh, used the uh, R4 adapter plate from RC4 wheel drive. And I had to modify the mounts down. They had already been modified for mounting it into number three. That is the transmission from the number three. I went ahead and stole it. Um, so I had to grind the aluminum down and make it work, and I just made those plates welded to the side of the frame. Luckily, they actually came out perfect. I marked it, and uh, I made the pieces to fit. I, drilled, I clamped the two pieces together, if you saw, and I drilled the holes so they're at the exact same height. And I got lucky it came out perfect. When I threw my cross member in the back, everything lined up nice. Um, I did have, I don't have a, a sharp enough drill bit the right size. For these three millimeter hardware, so I had to oversize everything. So I'm using washers. Drilled all the pilot holes with like a, a two mil bit, and uh, then I had to go up to like a four just to just to get it big enough to get the hardware through, which kind of sucks. But I really need to buy some new drill bits. All my other ones are burnt up. But um, yeah, got that on. Got the uh, the uh, flathead engine here mocked up from Nightcrawler's 3D. We'll do a whole video on, on painting and weathering that. I've got the headers flipped upside down so they fit perfectly around the body. Um, I had this spare uh, Ultimate Scale Punisher shaft from RC4 wheel drive. It's a little short. Um, the only problem I'm having now is all the extra weight because I do have a can motor in there. We've got the transmission and that uh, fuel tank. It's got a bit of weight to it. Suspension's bottomed out. Like I knew I would, I'm going to have to uh, beef up the springs inside those shocks. And hope that does the trick because right now it's sitting on that odd bottom bolt on the R4 transmission. They uh, they got these kind of lumps here that have the hardware, and there's one on the bottom right in the center that sticks down. So right now we're just carrying on that. This is probably going to give me a problem too. My rear cross member, well, it I won't have it that high. It does kind of hit, but uh, that's probably would be a good ride height right here. So that would give us plenty of movement. So, I don't know. Little details we'll have to work out as we go. Um, steering is probably going to be the next hurdle. Uh, I bought a micro servo. It's, uh, let's see, Savox Metal Gear. It has 33 ounces of torque, which is pretty good for that size. I think the one I put on the number one build only had like 15. Still, uh, not not amazing by crawler standards, but enough to get the job done, especially if it's right there 
on the front. Just need a short link. I'm looking at putting it behind the grill. I've got a lot of room in between the motor and the front of the grill inside of it. Um, I do have extra grills now. Uh, Shapeway sent me some with the giveaway body. Uh, while we're on topic, the giveaway is still on. I, it's raining all weekend. I got a couple heavy coats of primer. I need to do some sanding on it, but I'm kind of held up because of the, the rain. I didn't know it was going to rain. I knew it was going to be cold. I can paint around the cold, but the, the rain kind of messed me up. I got out and drove yesterday, and as soon as I came back in, boom, started raining. So I only got a couple coats of primer. But uh, hopefully I'm going to do the giveaway before Christmas still. And, uh, yeah, anyway, it's supposed to kind of follow along with this build anyway, so. I've picked the color and the, the style based on everybody's comments, and I think it's it's going to look good. It's going to be tasteful. That seems to be the, the trend everyone wanted was a little less rusty, <clears throat> a little more tasteful, a little patina. So, i got a plan, and I'm going to give it a shot just as soon as it dries up enough. It's like 50 and cloudy and raining still, so. Not today, but uh, anyway, I did have to modify the front cross member here. The bottom of the transmission was one little part that's round that sticks down, and I had to uh, grind a little bit of it back. Um, I'll go back and clean that up too. I, it's just a mess in this workshop today. I got my new toolbox, came unexpectedly last night, and uh, so I'm just trying to shift everything from one toolbox to another, and I can barely walk through here at all. But, uh, yeah, that engine looks awesome. Um, if you didn't notice, I, when I put the engine back on, I just put some set screws. I drilled some holes out and just threaded in some 1.5 mil set screws from a, like a drive line or, act, or a drive shaft. I put one on each side. It's holding fine. That motor has a, a mount on the front. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through the trouble to use it because I'm going to have to weld more to the frame and it's just, you know, the more... To weld on it, I've got to strip everything off, as you saw, and uh, it's in there really good. So, I now I've just got the valve covers and the uh, intake just setting up there for looks, but... Um, yeah, let me get flip it over here and get you a bottom line. Alright, so you can kind of see, um, again, my welds aren't prettiest, but they're holding. I still, I still haven't gotten in... Uh, argon mix tank and, and switch my MIG over. So just doing flux core, so that's why it's so messy. I have to clean up every little tack I do. <coughs> Excuse me, every tack I do. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure yet how I'm going to go about painting the engine. It's, uh, I don't want to do too much silver, so I'm not sure yet. I may utilize some of that chrome paint. I've got to take some parts off of it and, uh, get some, uh, uh, primer on it, start sanding it smooth a little bit. I'm going to take my time with it. I have a tendency to rush these things when they get to this point because it's so close to driving, but honestly, I'm probably not going to work on this anymore until after Christmas because I just, I don't have the time around the holidays right now. Uh, my house is a disaster, so I got to do some cleaning and, and stuff, so the custom build may have to wait till after Christmas, but it won't be forgotten. We're too far along now. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. It's been going long enough. I uh, appreciate everybody watching. And again, stay tuned for the Shapeways giveaway. It is coming soon. Um, anybody have any tips as far as other springs to use for inside of these RC four-wheel drive shocks? Give me a shout or a comment below. Um, the What's in there is not any softer than like a ballpoint pen spring. So... It's going to have to be something outside the box. But, um, yep. Again, follow along on Instagram. It's RC Every Day. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one.